Dr. Michael House, uh, Chief of the Division of Surgical Oncology at Indiana University School of Medicine. Over the past year, we've seen a, a huge expansion in the number of robotic platforms. What we traditionally called robotic platforms, I now prefer to call computer-assisted or computer-enhanced minimally invasive uh, surgical techniques. Uh, what we plan to do and where I see uh, robotic surgery platforms moving forward in the future and particularly over the next two years will be the application of multiple procedures both in laparoscopic surgery as well as laparoscopic and endoscopic surgical techniques. With competitive forces, I think with multiple uh, platforms now available, I think we'll continue to see improvements in the instrumentations themselves. When we used to think of straight stick devices are being replaced with very flexible articulating devices that are going to allow interventionalists to perform very complex procedures for a variety of patients uh, in a very precise, accurate, and safe manner. Now with the launch of computer-assisted uh, minimum invasive platforms, the robotic platforms, we will have the ability to train surgeons in a much shorter period of time. Um, it will be very important though when we launch these various robotic platforms that proper training for proper credentialing does occur. While there are huge advantages of uh, robotic assisted procedures, we have to keep in mind that it will come with increased costs directly for the procedures themselves. To offset those costs, we have to be able to prove and demonstrate that these enhanced techniques are in fact improving patient safety, they're improving our outcomes, and they're decreasing our patients' recovery times to full and productive lives.